Hey guys, uh, we have a new feature in Shapemaster, uh, as well as a new extension module for the Pro version. And um, it's really, really, really useful. Um, very easy to miss as well. So I thought I will make a short tutorial highlighting this, uh, this new feature. So what's going on? We have a, we have a Shapemaster here as a sequencer, right? So Shapemaster was always really good as, as a sequencer. You can you know set the range to zero to one volt or whatever, uh, the grid size, and with shortcuts you can really snap to this grid. Very useful. There's one. There was always one thing missing, which is these nodes. You, you can't really automatically retrigger them. You would have to create another shape here for just triggers, and it's it's kind of messy. So it was a good sequencer, but not 100% complete. Well, now it is actually complete and, and extremely powerful. So what they did is they added a new little menu here, very easy to miss, so check this out. Um, right click on the channel you're editing, and then you go to VCA output, and you have to select this node triggers. Normally it will be on VCA, node triggers. And what it does is that suddenly this VCA output gives you triggers. on every node. So this is great, for example, here, right? If you want to re-trigger node, uh, or let's say you, you can have a eight-step sequencer and then ratchet it with uh, more fine uh, grain grid. So uh, plenty of opportunities and, and, and really, uh, now this is really a great, great sequencer. So this is available in a free version of Shapemaster. However, in, in the Pro version, you also have this extra module here called Shape Tracker. And it's not actually extension that you put next to the module. It's, it's fully independent. You have to connect it. So here's how you do it. You go into this channel settings and you select Shape Tracker ST. It's a special kind of output that produces specific voltages. It's more like an information between these modules. So now you uh, you grab um, this VCA output and put it here. And notice that now Shape Tracker knows exactly which node you're on. Uh, notice also that there's a new um, new display here. It not only shows you voltage but also node number just because of this this new addition. Um, so this is a little utility. What it does is you can set the start and end, and you have we can have let's say gate for certain. Uh, parts of the phrases. So let's say we would like to have part of this melody um, being transposed. Right? So somewhere here we are octave lower and then uh, then, then higher. Um, and you still have those no, no, no triggers. It's just now you have to go through this module and simply um, connect this stuff over here. So anyway, um, I think it's a uh, it's small little addition, and yet it changes a lot. Now you can really use Shapemaster as, as a uh, go-to sequencer, and, uh, and as always, uh, mind melt, uh, you know, they keep surprising me. I, I just noticed this module a couple of weeks ago. I was like, what is that? And I think it's really really um, great addition. So mind melt, uh, great, great job, guys. All right, thank you. Um, thanks, guys. Uh, I'll see you around.